real hero. <laughs> 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 Going up the horn to the left of 
traffic that was in front of us, and I speeded up to uh, help to block the traffic. Uh, the gentleman, uh, Mr. Robert Surrett, came by. He avoided the tractor trailer from hitting my truck mm -hmm. that I was attempting to stop the rest of the Were you on the ground or another vehicle? Was another, another, another vehicle. Mm -hmm. It was in a moving uh, operation. At that time, it was a moving operation. We have uh, two safety trucks with paddle boards right. and an attenuator. And we slow down the traffic. And that is what, when we stop to actually do the pothole, the traffic is already in a slow position, right. and we have one lane open so it could go by us. So when we stop to do the potholes, the traffic is not speeding at 50 miles an hour. Right. So we got control of the traffic at this point, and then when we saw what was happening, we went up front and cut off the rest of the traffic that was in front of us. Uh, so you basically the, closed the whole Deegan down the because you were Deegan you acted so quickly that you were able to clear the whole way so that uh, it, you almost created a pure runway for the plane. Right, and right. Right. no traffic, you know, for the airplane to fall upon. Also, uh, Mr. Kane uh, was able to uh, isolate the center and left lane, and Mr. Roger closed off the right lane. So when we got to the plane, we all assisted the passengers to come out of the plane. We made sure that there was no, uh, no, no fires and no injuries. We escorted, I escorted the people. I, we told them to get into our trucks so they could stay warm so they won't go into shock also. So we put them in the, in the safety of our vehicle. We proceeded to make sure that there was no leaks. Uh, we, there was a small hot dog leak on the floor. We took care of that also. And we was able to maintain one lane open so we could move the traffic to have the emergency right. service yeah. uh, reach us yes, also. Because right. now at this point, we first crossed the highway, but we was able to open up one lane. The two hill of the plane is the pilot who navigated the plane because he was actually looking for a place to set down the plane. He was flying over uh, on the southbound side where the traffic was actually coming towards him. So when we cleared his pace, he was able to come, come over on the right hand lane and set the plane down safely. And thank God he was there and no one got hurt. This is truly a miracle. <laughs> and you all, uh, you guys should be so proud. Did you have radios or you just have like signals to each other? No, we, I'm sorry. No. We, we have uh, radios in the communication. No such thing as a shy <laughs> new <laughs> we, we also we wanted to thank uh, our communication center, uh, you know, the uh, central depot, yeah. in responding to you when know, we called. Uh, Emergency, we had uh, all kinds of emergency service arrive really quickly. We were able to respond, you know, our uh, so system works. But when it was all happening, you were going to block off that last lane, everyone was coordinating. Did you have radios? No, no, no. 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 We worked like we did. As you say, we work at the team. Once we saw, what, we saw the plane come down, we see where he was going, so we knew we had to cut the track off and that scene. So that this is not something you drill for. No, not I love the fact I want to just say to our friends in the media, yeah, this is this is not part of the job description. <laughs> they don't have a special segment in their training when small planes want to land on the deep. Okay? So this is this is why people should be proud of our public workers, because they they created right on the spot and every any one of us would have been proud to be able to act as quickly and resolutely as they did uh, in the middle of crisis. You know. The fact, I'm sorry, if I had seen a plane about to come down right in front of me, I'm not sure I would have had the presence of mind to think, let's cut off the lanes, let's make a runway, and that's, that's, that's extraordinary. And you should be so proud of yourselves because you saved lives. I mean, I, again, I can only imagine it. if the plane had come down into traffic, you know, how many lives could have been lost and what kind of chain reaction there would have been. And the notion that you essentially cleared out the whole way for them is absolutely unbelievable. We're really, really proud of you really honor your work, and, and I can tell you the people in the city are very thankful. Well, that and the 
say we, we received from the DOTs, you know, that helped us also. The teamwork and all. The teamwork, exactly. But you don't have a landing plane part of your yeah. team. <laughs> in, the event, in the event a blimp is overhead. <laughs> We basically work together a long time, and okay? so we basically know what we're going to do. Almost. Right. Basically, you know, you guys know how to communicate right away. Yeah, right? It's, it's, and you're used to the traffic going by and having to be safe and having exactly. to be smart. Yes. So. That's part of our training. Oh, yeah. I think that moment I was in there, uh, always strap it down and set it up and make sure it's safe. You know, for the police officer to get there. We don't need to do something. Right. So you've had the experience of knowing that sometimes you have to take charge right. of the situation. Yeah. Well, you sure did. Guys, I'm so proud of you. I'm so appreciative. On behalf of the people of the city, we cannot thank you enough. And cherish this memory of what you did for us all. Thank you very much.